It's even got red eyes. Good nearly afternoon from a very windy cliff top. I don't know if you can hear me. Me and Alan have driven for an hour and a half oh, oh. towards Ravenscar, also near Whitby. Um, whip scampy. Ooh, can't wait to look at that. Basically, we've driven here because we were going to get the steam train, but the steam train slash diesel engine is about £40 per person to get it. Um, so we, although that would have been really, really cool, and then we would have seen like the National um, National Yorkshire Moors um, from the steam train, basically. But we've driven, I've got some fantastic views, which unfortunately I didn't film because my phone was a sat nav, so. But um, look at this view. Wow, wait. Alan, look. Ingrid. In love and memory of Ingrid, sorry, love. I'm going to step on here. hear me I do uh, apologize but we've come here basically because I read online on the Whitby guide which I'll link below oh I can't deal with this hair today um I gave you a hat oh I, I can't wear a woolly hat <laughs> no, <don't laughs> yeah, it's okay. look it's fantastic I'm actually playing golf on here Jesus yeah, this is a golf it. course down here but basically we're following this rocky path down towards the coast um, and the guide is very so far very good you can park um, on the side of Raven's Scar Village which is free well I'm assuming it was free I didn't really look um, there are some toilets conveniently placed so we had a little wee because Alan's got child's bladder <laughs> and I'm like I'm hoping to see some seals. Some walruses. I'm not sure of seal pups yet because one of the species, their pups are born in November. It's currently the beginning of October. And then some of their pups, the other species, are born June, July. So we're definitely not going to see those. But they still might be quite small because they stay with their mum for about six months, I think. I think. How do they do, baby? And they also, on the Whitby Guide, say that you can see loads of species of birds and one of which is a puffin. And I've never seen a puffin, only on TV before. David Attenborough hasn't swallowed me. Could you do your voice on the farm? On the farm? Okay. There's a puffin. It's natural habitat. <laughs> but the puffins are so beautiful and I really, really want to see one. Hopefully. I'll get my camera out if it doesn't. Hopefully, it has enough battery. Well, what you could do is a zoom scan. Did oh. you, bring, you brought your camera, didn't you? I did, yeah. You can have a zoom scan while you're up here. So you can spot it. Can Look at the view. Just head towards that. Is that Whitby over there? Uh, yes. Are you sure? Find out stuff, phone a friend. Yes, yeah, so I drive through Whitby and carry on a bit further and head towards Raven. Oh. If you haven't seen that vlog, go and watch the Edinburgh vlogs. Because Alan thinks that he saw Norway from the coast. Oh God, it's so windy. I'm so sorry if you can't hear me. I 
so many seals. I've had to put Alan's hat on because my ears are hurting in the cold. There are so many seals down there. Swimming, and you can hear them as well. see some in this like little area here. We have spotted a few tiny ones so we're assuming they're parks. And there's other bugs here. <sighs> Got a cup of Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, this is so cold. Mm -hmm. But apparently it's a long time here to see puffins. Didn't know that but that's something new to um, But I'm really really happy that we managed to see some seals and some parts or late parts um, but they're all in pairs so we'll have to do a bit of research um, because apparently the other breed of um, seals they're pups are due to be born in October so that's cool. just look at this view wow. when they say that was a steep hill back up they weren't lying it's alright going down, but when you're coming up, oh my goodness. I've just got back to the car, and I believe what I'm looking at is Robin Hood Bay, which we're going to head towards, but we're going to go back towards Whitby and go and get some fish and chips, some lunch. I almost decided to drive to Whitby, I did off to drive. This is Robin Hood Bay, I'm assuming. Here. Oh, I've got me look out for a minute. Look at all leaflets. <laughs> Collection, collection. So I'll see you over there. <laughs> so you have to pay to go in to see the actual abbey itself, or you can just walk it up to the car park and see it from here for free. <laughs> it, does, yeah, it does annoy me a little bit when you have to pay for things like this. I get that they restore it, but oh, I mean, yeah, they, they do restore it. I guess. Tell it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're now on our way back to the lodge from Whitney. The sun is shining very bright. It's very low in the sky at the minute. But I've had a really, really good day today, especially seeing the seals. They were the best thing. Um, didn't really think much of Whitby Seaside Town. Um, well, it was quite busy and definitely overpriced, quite expensive. Um, and then you've got like the Abbey uh, ruins. There's the Captain Hook Museum and like, things like that. But 
but it's quite overpriced whereas if you just drive half an hour down the road you can park for free and go and see seals which is the best thing <laughs> 